Why was it director's cut released? I don't know, but I hit the stream button. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hold up. What are we streaming on? Um. Okay. Yeah. Wait, this would have been alright to stream on YouTube. I know. Okay. We putting it on YouTube or at some point? I'm not worried about it. Okay. <laughs> Check for that ketchup bottle. President Evil. Corona edition. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do you have to drag that into this? I, I don't know. It's not like we're selling anything. Yeah, but still. I don't know. It's just annoying as hell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Did it? No. Did it? No. Did it really? No, it didn't. Then why did you do it? I don't know. Why do I do anything? <laughs> Be smart. Fight the foes. This is the only way to survive. Hold your arm. We still waiting? Just for a minute or two. A minute or two. Now we get to watch this guy die again. <laughs> <laughs> That eyeball, though. Propane and propane and accessories. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Director's cut. What if all the zombies in the game were just... Can not kill? No. What if they were all, like, canisters of propane that were empty and you had to refill them? And that's how you kill them? That would be an entirely different game. The, instead of coming at you like a zombie, they just roll around on the floor until they get to you. What do they do when they get to you? Hank Hill, he, he pumps them full of good propane, and then he says, propane and propane accessories, and then he just leaves. That's the game. We have a strict policy. No novelty grills. <laughs> novelty grill? Novelty grills! Yo, he almost fought George Foreman. <laughs> He almost did. No, no, it was his, uh, uh what, niece? I don't know. I don't know, so, er, I don't know, somebody was gonna fight somebody. That's a lot of blood. Yeah. Yeah. You ready in just a second? For some reason, Hi. the internet's going really slow. Do you need me to reset my router? Well, I don't know that that would be a good idea while the stream is live. Okay. Because then it would just go down. Okay. Let me just make sure it's actually up. Capcom 1996. 997. Uh, it looks like it's up. So, uh, I'll go ahead. It was eight years old when this came out, but. Wanna, do you want to hit reset there, Brian? Uh, yep. Do, 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 do. On the screen. Here we go. Here it is. Greatest gaming company ever. What, really? No. Oh. Maybe? I don't know. They're, they've been doing good lately. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome to... Propane and propane accessories. Director's cut. The way that doesn't say propane. That says Resident Evil. President Evil, you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Resident. Oh, okay. Well, All right, we'll do a new game. Like visitor. Yeah, Hello, everyone. New game. New game. Yeah, we'll do a new game. Go down to advanced. I'm not fucking no, no, doing no, no, that. No, hear me out. Hear me out. Don't, just highlight it and I'll hold left. Left on the control pad. Yeah. Okay, I'm still doing it. Still doing it. Maybe it's right. 
Hey, I'll try to write. Shirts. There like, you go. Oh, what happened? Play that. Is that going to be really hard? Yes. I don't want to do that. No, it's going to be really easy, actually. What? Then why the fuck? Am I, is this like big head mode or whatever? Like? <laughs> no, you get like double ammo. Or All right, something. should I be Sluty McSluterstein or should I be master? Hunky McFuckhunk? Uh, do you want to shoot stuff or do you want to do puzzles? I want to shoot stuff. Then go with Chris. Yeah, but isn't Joe the easier playthrough? Yeah. I don't know. Plays Chris. Chris Redfield. My name's Chris Redfield. I shoot propane accessories for a living. Wait, what's Claire's last name then? Redfield. Same as his. Wait, really? They're siblings. They're siblings. I didn't know, dude. What the fuck? I don't know jack don't shit you about... pay attention to anything? God! No! <laughs> I don't know jack about Resident Evil. We only beat that whole game. Yeah, we only... Which one? Three. Well, they mentioned Chris, like, maybe Claire once. wasn't in that one. No, no exactly. but... Exactly. They mentioned Chris, like, once. Because she went into the police... No, she... Wait, I actually... We, they took that part out. Horde! Raccoon City! What kind of a it, name is do you, Raccoon do you, City? Do you guys find it weird while we're talking about Raccoon City that there's like a plague outbreak in like rabies and did raccoons? We, did we make this joke is last it, time it, we played a no, Raccoon No, 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 we didn't. You made... We almost did. <laughs> oh, right. It's like the new the new bird... Not flu. It was like the, uh, the rabbit uh, flu. I don't... F rat flu. I don't know. Swine oh. flu? No, I saw, I saw something in the news Yo, about, like, the rabbit. Wesker, you're looking a little sweaty on that forehead. <laughs> Joe looks fine, though. Chris looks like a douche. <laughs> it's the hair. Isn't this the only one where it's live action? Uh, I think. Maybe. Oh, I can't wait to see this. This is, like, probably the second time I've ever seen this. Really? Yeah. It's a hand! I think it's the censored version. Like, give him a yeah. hand! It's the censored Oh, come on. Oh, because it's the director's cut? Oh, that's stupid. No, I think you have to, like, unlock the uncensored version. Uh, oh, come on. Can you... What kind of reaction was that? Joe said, it's like if that happened to you, Brett! I know. Later. <laughs> Completely emotionlessly shouting. Let's be real here, Brett. You wouldn't even give me the courtesy of saying, Brian! You'd probably just be like, I'm out of here. Don't go! <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah, I'll just stand there like, aw. Fuck! Why does he sound like a fucking velociraptor? I, I gotta admit, this is probably the greatest intro cutscene <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Dude, no, it's a mansion. House. It's no, a mansion. The mansion. No, the rendered mansion. Yeah, that's you the you leave that legendary frog shit out of this. Is God that, damn, that, that thing was? is so old. Yes. I thought that was new. Man. No, start. Legendary frog had their own website. They created the Flash cartoon. Here we go, Chris Redfield with shoulder things. Jill Valentine with her pants pulled all the way up to her tits. No. <laughs> Barry Burton, some fat Larry the Cable guy look like with a magnum. She does know, why, not why does look it, 15. It looks like a wig. Why does it, it tell you their blood type? The douchiest of the douche. Resident Evil. Well, this... this you know, I thought it was a horror game, but it's not. It's an action movie. Where they thought it was safe. Yet! Turn the volume. Yo, did, did we do, like, alternative costumes? What the hell is she wearing? Uh, yeah, that's also part of the thing. Oh, okay. Chris? 
Yeah? Take care. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, where's the wine? That's on uh, Jill's playthrough. Oh, okay. Shit. Don't open that door. You're uh, you're playing, Brian. Is he though? Am I though? I think oh. Chris is sort of thinking right now. Okay, now I am. What control pad? I can't even use a stick. Wah wah wah. Wah wah. Okay, so X is run. Can I equip anything? Can I equip a knife? A knife! It's not a knife. <clears throat> Let's be real, the knife is useless in this game. Is it? Yes. And at what point do we need this? Uh, not now. Yeah, I wasn't gonna pick it up now, I just didn't know what point in the game. There right now. What? Oh wait, I'm used to playing Jill. Well this is also not exactly the same as the remake that you played. Well, for one thing there's fucking lights on and I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's already a big difference. I would like to open the door please. Really? Thank you. Right, let's go see our first zombie. Jimbo, the Zimbo. This was Woo. like the scariest shit back then. Get ready. What is he eating? A sandwich? Ah, hello. Really off guard too after watching that whole like intro. Cut How do scene. I do that? Fuck. Uh, the thing where you run away. No, I meant the 180 degree turn. Oh, I don't know if this game has that. It should. It might, I don't know. Where's Barry? I need, er, Albert, he shoots him, right? Oh, uh, that looks like a thing you can push. What? Are you telling me this whole time I could have pushed that clock? Maybe. So in the remake, I could push the clock? I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> I haven't played the remake like you. Why is he called Albert by his last name? Albert? I think that's their, uh, their leader. Alfonso? Are they off doing it? Besides, a guy that cool, does he sound better as Wesker or Albert? Wesker. Wesker. <laughs> it's Jill's gun. What the fuck? Will you take the Beretta? What? It's not a Beretta. It's this supposed to be a... This uh... about too many menus. Uh, I think there was a couple of handgun clips on the body that was being eaten. If you want to go back and... Uh, fine. No, because there's not much to do in this room. Might as well clear it. Are you sure about that? I'm like 80% sure about that. I'm, I'm... It's been a while since I've played this. Yeah, the only thing in this room is uh, uh, the secondary dagger thing. That's not in this. What? Nope. No daggers? Nope. Well, how do you defend yourself? What? What is this thing doing here? This wasn't in the remake. You're supposed to push that thing. What the? F I told you this isn't exactly like the remake. Yeah, no, I didn't listen. Push, you fuck. Walk into it. I'm trying to, but it's not letting me. Up is forward. Oh, God. Are we going to go through this again? Our tank controls, Brian. I'm trying. <laughs> Stop pushing it. <laughs> Claude. I need the map. Climb it. Get the map. Get the map. Get the map. What is he standing on? I don't know, man. Can I, can I get the face? map? That face. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Jesus. Can you say protruding forehead? Can you say shut up? I don't know. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> hey, it's that guy. What? Oh fuck! <laughs> Take him in the face, or just stop. Well, his head exploded. There's another one. Um, shoot down. Did that even hit him? You fucking asshole! You make sure you walk right at him. 
Am I losing health when I do that? Yeah. Probably. Fuck. Is there anything here? Well, try clicking on stuff. Will you take the ink ribbon? I will. Is there anything else? I don't think so. It would have been shiny, right? Uh, maybe. Was the ink ribbon shiny? Yeah. Just keep clicking. Click on everything. Did you hit it with your sword? <laughs> Did you try shooting it with your gun? Did you try shooting it with your sword? <laughs> Oof. Did you try hitting it with your gun? I need... Yeah, I need the fucking sword key. Chris, you run around like a fucking idiot. He's doing whatever you tell him to at the moment. Listen, these controls are bunk. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Playing the game from the 90s. Hey, what the? There's a, the there's a typewriter here. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy fuckaroonies. Can I not? Alright, there we go. Right. More ink ribbon? I'd like to use the ink ribbon. Already? Why not? I mean, he's got 12 of them. Yeah. I think it doubles your ink ribbons pick up, uh, pickups, too. Alrighty. I like how I can see in this little hallway area. Seeing is usually pretty good. It's a good thing to be able to In the remake, it was kind of like, this is scary, ooh. <laughs> yeah, no, it can't be pushed. Picture, but what? Okay, the picture is different. Huh. This whole playthrough, I'm just gonna complain about things that are not the same. <laughs> Up until the point where I haven't gotten past. How long until he says the graphics are better in GTA 5? Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> no crimson head for you. What? Wah, wah, wah. He got up! <laughs> a mere shadow. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shell of a shadow. <laughs> That's my favorite line in this He's game. He's laying there with his head cut off. And that's what he has to say about that. I thought there were some clips over here. Maybe it's Jill? Maybe. Also, I could have sworn there was a hallway down here, but I guess not. Ooh, spooky house. Spooky oh, house, motherfucker. Yes, I know. I need the shield key. Shut up. It's locked from the inside. Is that what? There's a door here now? What the fuck? Thought that was that at least let you go through it. The fuck? Nope. Okay. To be fair, I've never played as Chris. <laughs> Did you try that other door that was like right across the hall from this one? I did. Let's try it again. Believe that I needed the. Uh, that was just a locked door. Yeah. No, it's, it's locked, locked inside. From inside. What if there was a door and you came up to it and said it was locked from the other side? And then you came up from the other side and it said it was locked from the other side? Um. Then you'd be fucked. I'd find the third side. <laughs> I would, uh... Kind of like when you go to plug a USB port in, yep. and it, it's not right, and then you flip it upside down, and it's still not right. So yeah, let's be real here. Yeah. Every time we put that fucker in, it's always the right side, but it never goes in the first time. You got another door on this side. Yeah. But it I believe I locked. need the armor key. Maybe. Yeah. It's locked. A carving of armor. And I know down that... Wait, is what's-her-face in this game? No. Okay. So they got rid of that. So yeah. this they doesn't didn't exist. They got rid of anything. They <laughs> added it. <laughs> oh, well, I mean. Yeah, yeah, they got rid of all that stuff that was extra in the remake when they made the original. Yeah, down there was like a little cellar where you have to fight this little abomination of a like zombie mongoloid thing. Yeah. And it wouldn't die. <laughs> I can't believe I need fucking animation for the stairs. It's a load screen, man. 
is a mask load screen. Gotta do. Oh, okay. This I'm gonna pull oh. the mic back a little bit too, just because you're like right in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was noticing that. Sure, too. you're raping people. Well, no, they just probably can't hear me or Brett at all. Oh. Uh. Well, here we go. Boof. Hey, headshot. Headshot. There's another one over there too, isn't there? Would it, can I just push this in front of the Simbo? I mean, probably, but he can just walk around it. I like how or he's, not. He's zombies. Maybe he can't just walk around it. God damn! So I'm out of ammo. Well, Yeet. time to get creative. Time to run past him. Green is not a creative color. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> get off me, fool. You're probably gonna win. Oh, you're gonna win yep, you did. You died. What the fuck? I should save my ammo. That's it. You died. Goodbye, handsome. <laughs> oh, resetting. Yeah. Oh, so we can play on the less difficult one. <laughs> Pleasant evil. <laughs> Why did you reset and then load game? I didn't reset. He died. Oh. Yeah. No, that, that's what happens. I thought you reset the game. <laughs> the world of survival horror. Good Good luck. Luck. I want to check that that body. Is uh, Yawn the snake in this? Who? Yawn. Snake boss. Oh, uh, there is a snake boss. Yeah. So why didn't you guys ever kill that one zombie you ran into that had that cutscene? I thought I did. Oh. I thought that was him right there. How did you get a headshot? I guess... Luck? Do you get lucky with headshots? Maybe. It's Kenneth from Star's Bravo Team. He is a shell of a shadow. There it is. What the fuck? You just had to click it again. Oh. Well, how was I supposed to know that? I don't know. How many fucking clips does this guy deal. have? Each clip had 30. God damn, Brad, you're two. holding out on us. It's Kenneth. Or Kenneth, sorry, Brad dies in the third game. So our keys on the map. Yeah, I don't actually know if it does, but I'm sure I'll do that anyway. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I think also if you like pause between shots, you get better accuracy. Pause between shots? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I took that. Lit speed. That's what I was taking no, it literally. Just, like <laughs> you just wait. don't keep waiting. You just don't keep hitting the button. Yeah. Um, All right. And just kind of let it snap to whoever you're aiming at. This game is very bright. <laughs> it's good. It is good. Uh, Just make it easier. Your laptop. I think it's your TV. Uh, well, it might Head be my shot. TV. I don't know. It just seems like I just played the remake like yesterday, and it was very dark. But I feel like they did that on purpose. <laughs> that one took quite a few hits. You'll hear people complaining about the RE2 remake, where, well, first of all, they don't get up that fast. What the fuck is that? Uh, second of all, uh, my point, that in the RE2 and RE3 remake, you can shoot the guy like ten times in the head where it doesn't explode, and they'll still get up. Damn. So they're like, like what the fuck are this with these zombies? It's the remake, dude. It's supposed to be harder. Huh. Well, no. It's supposed to be a remake. Damn, dude. It's getting good headshots. See, I never could understand that it was, um, like when I first started playing these games, I was like, how the fuck do people aim when there's no crosshair? I, I, my brain couldn't grasp the fact that that's just how the controls are. Right? 
It's like, how do you know where to shoot? Auto aim. Auto aim? I didn't know what auto aim was back then. Well, you can aim manually, but it snaps to whoever the closest enemy is. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, Chris shoots his gun, you can point up or down, and it's like, how the fuck did you hit the zombie way across the room? There's a lot of Zimbos in this room. Yeah. Also, I feel like the camera angle is, like, slightly different. Is this the area where you get the uh, fake key? I don't know if there's a fake key. Curbstone, curbstone. Can you? I don't know. Uh, you can. Not dead. Gears of War. That's Gears of War, right? You silly bitch. I know, right? <laughs> I haven't played that in like... I don't remember when I played that. Can I be real with you? I've only played the uh, the first two for Gears of War. Me too. Because everything else was just like, what is this shit? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, the first one was the best game. I actually should pick up the HD remake that came out, or the remaster, whatever it is. Wasn't on Xbox. it in HD to, to start with? It was on the 360. No, no, no. I mean, uh, they ported it onto the, or they, I don't know, on the, they remastered it on Xbox One, like, uh, I want to say, like, two, three years ago. Cool. So I really should pick that up. It was a fun game. It was a good couch co op game. don't know the pass number. It won't even let me try? Yeah, it, I feel like the other game would have let you try. It don't let you try because they don't want you to break sequence, I guess. I don't know. Probably. That's a really good idea. Well, <laughs> fuck this, dogs. This, this. I'm going to assume that's a safe room. I believe it is. What the fuck? That's not very safe. What? Oh, Rebecca Chambers no. spraying you with pepper spray? Was it pepper spray or hand sanitizer? No, it was first aid spray. <laughs> no, 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 it was hand sanitizer, because in these dark times, like, that's what happened. You turned to a zombie. You last Well, I'm really sorry. Are you alright? I feel like those shorts are up a little too high. For a 15 year old jailbait. I, that, in that cutscene, it said she was 18. No. Yeah. Well, in Japanese or whatever, she's 15. I, uh, that's racist. Japanese people just look younger. No, that's what they go online, Wikipedia. She's supposed to be 15 in this game. Yes, oh. Wait, service is this canonical to Resident Evil Zero, or is that something like... Dude, I don't fucking know anything about Resident Evil King. Is she the helicopter repair? No, she's the medic. Yeah. But she serviced the uh, helicopter. But she went through all that horrible fucking horse shit that was Resident Evil Zero with Billy Cohen, the prisoner. And then now she came back to the mansion. I don't know if this is canon with that. Did you just... Duplicate that item? No. No. If he could, I mean, would it be the worst thing? I just was not understanding. I guess it was in that chest. I didn't yeah, realize they, he there was, was two um, clips in the chest. Through that chest. Does it really matter where you put it? As long concerned. as it's not your butt. Ew. You can see your progress with this. Will you see me when we grab them? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> and pass it back. Yeah, but you didn't die yet. I don't care. I've beaten it. Ah, fuck. Chris, what are you doing? Stupid slow. Can I talk to her again? If you want. Does she do anything? Kill her. I wonder if everybody... <laughs> you want me to? What the fuck? What? Kill her. <laughs> oh my god, what if I do the... What'll happen? I don't know. 
Nothing. Nothing, yeah. Apparently. Or I just have horrible aim. She can't hear now. That gun shot off right next to her ear. Well, what should I do now? That's if you go out awesome. to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? That's a terrible idea. Oh god. No. No! It's pretty dangerous outside. Let me take care of it. I understand. Dude, the music that's playing right now just makes I feel it all like, more cringier. I feel like if she came, she would die, and like there's like story sequences where Rebecca can and can't die. And at the end of the game, you kind of decide that. Uh, I don't know. What the fuck? What the fuck? Woof. Stupid dog. You made me look bad. Ooga booga booga! Yo. Yo. <laughs> Will you Ryan. just aim at the fucking I'm dog? trying! It's not letting me aim at the dog! You lose aim. Don't press left and right. Just. Uh, just. Ah! Let go of the bumper and then help hold it down again. Make sure you shoot to the left and the right of the dog, but don't actually I shoot. I mean, at the least he, he literally stepped out of the save room. Hey, <laughs> can't get me, you stupid asshole. Yeah, now it's health reset, so all that ammo was wasted. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, really. That's dumb. That's how games work, dude. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It's dumb. A howling of an animal can be heard. I wonder what kind of animal it is. Probably not. <laughs> What if it's like a zombie whale? What if ah! <laughs> a zombie whale? Yeah, it's beached what? and it's just flailing around. It's not actually gonna eat anybody. Oh, like a whale, like W H A L E. Oh, John, you're saying like it was, John, shut the fuck up. It was wailing. Good a God. zombie was wailing in the distance. All right, how do I bring up the map button? Uh, you. I don't know. Map. That one. I don't know. Map is. This is a horrible map. There we go. Where am I? Is this gonna be like Dial Crisis all over again? There I am. Okay. Horrible map for a horrible person. John, stop slapping your meat. Stop eating that meat. <laughs> meat, 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 meat. Eat the meat. Don't fuck around with it. Watch out for the lamp. What's down here? Nothing. Luigi's into some shit. <laughs> yeah, Luigi's into no. some shit. <laughs> you came from there. I know. I have to go back. Why? I, I miss things. I don't know. And Are you sure? No. Oh, He's not sure, Brian. <laughs> he said he wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, God. Shut up. I push that statue down so you can go downstairs into that room and get that. Yes. And then there's a whole hallway that we didn't go down because there was dogs in it. And then there's also two hallway. other doors in the on the second floor in here on the other side of the room. You got options, bro. I don't know about that. I like how the door clips as you're opening it. Clips? Yeah, like you can tell from the texture, it just clips. Oh. I like how my fist clips through your face when I punch you right now. John, you're tired. You're drunk. Go, go home. <laughs> That's quite the assertion you're making there, Brian. <laughs> you're right, I'm drunk. I like how that's his next logical conclusion. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, if you're not drunk, then I must be. Nope, these are still locked. But you got the thing, right? I got the ruby of uh, Sidorak, right? Star. What the fuck? I thought it was a ruby. This is Starcrest. What? That don't look like no ruby to me. What the hell's a Sidorak? What the fuck is this shit? What? I had to get closer to the mic for that. <laughs> the Ruby of Sidorak is what, is what gives the Juggernaut his powers in X-Men. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, the God of Sidorak. He imbued the Ruby with magical powers I that allows we were... the Juggernaut to become the Juggernaut. I thought we were playing Resident Evil. We are, but... I thought X-Men was about mutants, not gods and... 
superpower. No, that, it, that, that's why they decided to do that, because they're like, oh, well, they're always fighting mutants. How about they fight something they haven't fought before? Oh, it's Xavier's stepbrother. Oh, he has magical powers instead of mutant powers. Oh, okay. X-Men's fucking dumb. No, because they fight <laughs> aliens, too. Yeah, X-Men's fucking dumb. No, X-Men's <laughs> great. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what I'm talking about. But the whole point of me saying that was because in the remake, you drop a ruby. This is clearly not a ruby. It's a, a carving, carving of a star. Of star. Well, at least if we came to one conclusion, it's that X-Men's fucking dumb. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I grew up with that shit. <laughs> they were my favorite. And that doesn't make it not dumb. I've probably watched every single one of the movies. Have you it's seen... It's pretty fucking dumb. Have you seen all... Of, yeah, because you... What did you do? You watched the fucking movies. Did you watch the 90s cartoon growing up? No, you didn't. Did you read the comic books? Know? No, you didn't. How do you know? Because you're calling it fucking dumb. <laughs> How else would I know? I don't know. You're ignorant. <laughs> You know, it's possible to like something even if it's fucking dumb. That's the, that's literally impossible. You know what else is really fucking dumb? What? Dragon Ball Z. Well. You know what yeah, else is pretty fucking yes, dumb? Yes, but also no. You know what else is pretty fucking don't. dumb? I know what you're gonna say, don't. Star Wars. Oh, I thought he was uh, gonna say. I thought uh, he was gonna say JoJo. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> oh, that's really fucking dumb. Shut the fuck up. This is not what I thought you were gonna say. How the fuck do I get in this door? It's locked. A carving of armor. You know what's almost as dumb as that, though? What? Trailer Me? Park Boys. Oh. Well, that is pretty dumb. <laughs> fuck goofs! It is, but I enjoy it. See, right now you're just trying to get underneath my skin. And it was working, but now I see what you're doing. He's seeing through the ruse, John. We gotta come up with a new strat. I wonder if anybody's in the chat getting pissed off at me for talking shit on all their favorite things. They probably would have left the first time. I feel like I've been here like a million times. I feel like no, because we have one viewer and I think it's me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What about left or right nut? Um, <laughs> left nut. Left nut, right nut. I don't know. Maybe he's sleeping. He did start streaming really late. What time do we start streaming? Like 10. Fuck. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna kill that dog. Did you try the other two doors upstairs? No, I or didn't. Or are you just gonna go through the one hallway? Well, I thought... I mean, I'm not, I'm not questioning your decision, because I'm pretty sure you can progress through that hallway. Nice, nice backseat gaming. <laughs> I'm just asking if you were gonna try those other doors. Yeah, they're probably locked. And I, granted, well, I, I shouldn't say that because I've never played as Chris, but... In Jill's playthrough, they were locked. I think in Jill's playthrough, you can unlock the one on the right with the uh, lock pick. Maybe. Don't remember. Think, Why does he I walk around like he has to take a shit whenever he's going upstairs? And I think as Jill, you can get a grenade launcher in there. What? Not as Chris. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you stupid asshole. I'm surprised that that worked. He's gonna get back up. Of course he is, but at least they stunned him. Well, when you leave the room, his health is gonna reset. That's a good point, actually. I don't have to worry about Crimson Head, so... Yeah! Jump oh. right! Put the little space in between, and then you can... Ah, fuck! Shit. Ambush you around the corner, man. Ah! I tried waiting and then shooting, but I died. She dies, she dies. 
Let me take care of it. Yeah, there's like multiple endings in this game. Whoa. No, I think if you take her out and she dies, then you just fail. Oh, really? Oh, I thought there were multiple endings for this game. There are. Well, for Joe and for Chris. Two endings right there. Doge. Very bite, much infect. <laughs> yeah. Took a lot of shots. I feel like there's something there with the shadows right there. Some of that light. Oh, that's a terrible shadow. Now it's gone. Uh, I can't do anything here yet. Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. So that's where the gemstone goes. If oh. you were Jill. <laughs> oh. And it wasn't a star crest. Interesting. Tigers don't have a star crest? No. Alright. I mean, if they did, I don't know. They'd be cool. It's like the, there's like a tiger with a star for an eye. Hmm. Stars. They should mod this so that Nemesis attacks you. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if you think about it, like we were just talking about earlier, if they did a remake for this game, I'd play it, but unlike the second and third game, nothing would be, like, chasing after you. Except for maybe the tyrant, but I don't think he chases after you. I think that's just a boss fight. Yeah, it's just a boss. Yeah. It'd be cool if the tyrant chased you, though. I mean, technically, that is what Mr. X is, just a better version of it. Oh. Yeah, Tyrant Type Zero, or whatever the fuck it is, looks ugly as fuck. Um, this is where the plant is you have to kill. Oh my gosh. And I like how, or actually, I don't like this. In the second game, for the remake, you were supposed to fight the giant plant monster, but you end up just killing it through a puzzle. Really? Well, that's the difference between Jill and Chris. Chris, you have to actually fight it. No, I'm talking about the second remake, not this game. Oh. Yeah, there's a plant monster in the lab section that you have to kill in the original version of Resident Evil 2, but in the remake, they're like, no, let's just have a puzzle. Interesting. It makes me feel sad. Bad dogs. But they're zombie dogs. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. Can we assume they're zombie dogs? Can we assume this takes place in the same universe as uh, Courage Cowardly Dog? <laughs> Yo. I mean, the mansion is in the middle of nowhere. Well, actually, it's not true. It's in Raccoon City. It's not the middle of nowhere. It's in the Arclay Mountains, actually. Wait, you just said like four different things and all of them conflicted. I had trouble processing <laughs> that. I'm just trying to fuck you up, Brit. Oh, um, you you no, succeeded. <laughs> no, it takes place, this game takes place in the Arclay Mountains, in Ra not in Raccoon it's City. Like just outside of Raccoon City. Yeah, oh. this, like this takes place before the second game. The rats that got infected from Birkin happen like the same time that this is going on, I think. Were they rats or were they raccoons? Right. This is a couple weeks before, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is a couple weeks before, too. Before Birkin was kind of fucking around. And he was just fucking around with his virus when Hunk and his squad shot him. Like, the T-virus happened to be in the room that they were doing experiments on. And that's how it got released. But what I don't get is how any of these guys are infected with the T-virus if all that shit's back at the lab. Unless there's a lab, I've never actually beaten this game. Unless there's well, you, a lab you underground. You pick up on all that through reading the text documents. 
I know this isn't the Spencer Mansion. It is. Oh, okay. Um, because I know there's another mansion you go to in Resident Evil Five. It's part of the DLC and has something to do with the Spencer Mansion. But people are infected with the uh, T virus in both mansions. I think they were using um, prisoners or inmates to experiment on with the T virus in the mansion. He has the small key. What, what does the Zelda? What does the small key do? This is where you need the dog whistle, isn't it? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this asshole? A zombie. It's not Brad Vickers. Who's Brad Vickers? Third game. Oh. He was the guy who died at the beginning. You keep making references to all these in-game story things. These these in-game NPC I, nobodies. That, that I don't <laughs> get any reference to because I've never played Resident Evil before in my life. No, that was one of the Brawler team. Oh, okay. I forget what his name was. The small key even looks like the same small key you get from fucking, uh, the... Aw, oh, damn it! Games. See, this is why you need more space. You can't carry any more items. It's not like I knew you, that was gonna happen. It's not like you can get rid of, uh, your ink ribbons. No, I gotta run back to the case. This game is like a thousand times easier than Dino Crisis. Yeah, is it? The zombies are slow. Oh, yeah. yeah. And well, mostly because the zombies are slow. <laughs> God. I, I really wish that there was a way... I would love to play the remake. And just have the ability to go cycle through the menu and turn Crimson Heads off. Yeah, that'd be nice. I would play it. Because every single time I've played it, I've always had to account for Crimson Heads, and it's like, okay, they died at this time, and at this time, that's when they're going to turn. So, like, there's no lighter fluid in this game, none of that, so... I just feel like they put way too much attention to detail in making it look like the original game to go and change as many things as they did. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, it does. Like, it's like half a whole new game. Yep. Because they're adding more elements to it that you don't normally have to fucking deal with. You said that was... It's basically the same as the GameCube version? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they had slight differences that made the game more challenging. Crimson Heads, I don't know if you know. Um, I, I saw you play this one time. Yeah, they uh, got up, this. they're fast, and they do just as much damage as, like, a hunter or a licker. And you can't kill them. And, you know, you can kill them, oh. but they're really fast, and they take a lot of hits. Ah, oh, Chris! This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? What major injury? Ooh, I'd love you to treat me, girl. Yo, she's asking you to heal wounds, and she's right to next to a bed, wearing them booty shorts. Okay. Dude, she's 15. I keep forgetting. Uh, that opening cutscene said she was 18. Yeah, well, that's the American version. They're well, this lying. is America, and we're in America. We tried to justify it by saying she's 18. She's not, though. Look at the classic... Classic what? Classic stereotype. She's wearing red and white, and she's the medic. Vitamins and minerals. Serums. Serums. I believe uh, I, I was, uh, wh what was I doing yesterday? I was fucking around watching, like, shit on YouTube, and then something came up in my feed. It was this new anime that's coming out that it looks nothing like I've any ever seen before. Basically, the best way to describe it is it's a anime version of Ed and Eddie if they were, like, women and they were not, like, how anime normally is, where it's like giant fucking bazongas. So it's like anime, but not like anime. Yeah! So basically, it's like anime and like Ed, Ed and Eddie, but really completely unlike any either of them. Yes. 
I'm you confused. told me nothing. <laughs> I am confused. Sorry, I'm, I'm no, a little no, no. bit... He's given us an excellent description of what it's not. However, this is not very specific. No, no, no. It is like Ed and Eddie in the sense where it's the same kind of characters where you got that one person who who's just wants the money, the other person who's really smart, and then the other person who's just a fucking idiot. And, um... You got a tall one, a short one, and a medium-sized one. Like, there are memes of it being, like, Ed and Eddie, but the whole premise of it is that they're, like, you know, it takes place in a high school, and they're trying, like, they come up with this new club where they're trying to Ed and Eddie didn't take place in high school until, like, the last season. Yes, but... It wasn't even high school, that was middle school. No, I don't know. They just remind me of Ed and Eddie. It's not actually like Ed and Eddie. Uh... It's like, you know, the scams, the money, I, I don't know. It, it looks good. If I remember the name of it, I'll, I'll let you know what it is. But uh, or I'll watch it. And I'll say if it's any good. But um, what are you gonna watch though? I don't know. Street like Crunchyroll or something. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not like stereotypical anime where it's like, you can't kill me because I'm not dead. <laughs> or it's not like you know, oh Brit Senpai. <laughs> God. <laughs> desu, desu, de. <laughs> well, I got the armor key. Yeah, nice. Wait, how did you manage that without the fucking... Or is that puzzle not in this? Where you have to put the fake key down to get the armor key, and the two suits of armor with, like, spikes come... That's not in this. Okay, I didn't think so. Uh... I'm not gonna check that room yet. I got a feeling that it's not gonna be a good time. Uh -oh. Where the fuck did you? Whoa, go? he's pretty fast. Eh, that's like walking pace, decent. Fastest zombie I've seen in this game. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's just a camera angle. Maybe. He got up pretty fucking fast. And there goes what his head. Do you? You, who, what are you gonna try to bite me with? You got Boop. nothing. There goes your head! Is there only like two character models for zombies? So far, I think so. Like, gray fucking bald head? This is 1996, dude. No, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just complaining for the sake of complaining. Ah, oh, I see. And, uh, we're Kinda like when you use like self deprecating humor all the time, just to do that. I do? Wait, John, did that actually kill kill him, or is he gonna get back up? No, I kill him. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell because his head didn't blow up. I guess if they fall down twice, the second time is always death. You're not ready for that room? I'm, well, I want to come back to it. Let's see what's at the end of this hallway. Can you kill that guy? He dumb. He's also a Woof. He's still getting up. Pop. Oh, okay. Boom. Can't open his head, but it Is that his blood? It looks green. It's just the shadowing. Oh, uh, okay. What are you trying to say, Brett? The people don't have green blood? Uh, yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, the government just released the fact that they like, you know, they found UFOs over the years, and, um, so it's definitely like that in other worlds. Cool, I guess. <laughs> but does that life... I'm, I'm highly skeptical of whatever that's does that, that life count as people? That's what I'm saying. Like, I read that, or my cousin tried sharing that, saying, Oh, 2020 is a fucking weird year. There's aliens. No, I, it's highly, like, you know, it's not credible to me. Like, I have a feeling that some assholes made some UFO wannabe things because it's seen too many movies, and we just happened to see ident unidentified aircrafts and, and took them in, and we're like, oh, that's a UFO. I mean, an unidentified flying object just means there's something that's flying and it's not identified. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't necessarily yeah, mean like, it's pe from outer people space. are saying, like, oh, it's from outer space! Uh! Ooh. 
Even if it was from outer space, like, I'm sorry, I feel like we would have, like, come out about the fact that there's aliens. Damn. One hitter on that one guy, damn. It's just not happening. Shit. Does that help? I never knew if button mashing gets you out of that. It does. Huh. Is he gonna get back up? Yes. No, he's not. I don't know, I heard a moan. You was downstairs. It. Or further down the hallway. Wait. Oh, I know what room we're in. You have used the armor key. Wait, you didn't Pretty use sure the armor key? Pretty sure there was a safe room in there. You didn't use the armor key when you opened that door that had a bunch of suits of armor behind it? Damn. Or can you use keys more Chris than Chris getting all these crits? No wonder that fucker's able to punch a boulder. What the fuck is that? I don't know, I was about to say, what's is, up is with it, the TV? Is, is but it like, then there's not TVs like that. Jump right into now. it, become Gex! <laughs> Boots can do, we can do! It's tail time. It's tail time! I feel like Gordon Freeman chowing on tacos at Taco Tuesday. No, I need a lighter. I feel like Gordon Freeman chowing on that stuff he shouldn't eat that erases your memory in City 17. <laughs> what? I flipped it. You mean the water? Yeah. So Gordon Freeman should not chew the water? <laughs> yeah, don't chew the water, Gordon. <laughs> Man, that water is a little choppy. <laughs> <laughs> the water must be stale. It's chunky. Chunky water. Yeah. Imagine if you drank water and had the same texture as, like, chunky peanut butter. I would, <laughs> um... Well, if you think about it, right? Water with crushed ice in it? Yeah, I can see that. That's as close as you can get. It's pretty fucking gross, though. It's like you, you order, like, a, not a smoothie. You order, like, you know, a uh, culotta or something from Dunkin' Donuts, and it's, like, just fucking water. Yeah. <sighs> What's a culotta? It's crushed ice. I wish I had time flavor. to enjoy these pictures. Wow. Really? That's a... Okay, Chris. I didn't realize you appreciated the fine arts. Then again, you're working with Jill all day. Oh! That's his sister. Mm-mm. Oh, Jill. Yeah, I said Jill. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at that shotgun. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, the one with the bent ass tip. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! It's broken. Yo. Can't you tell? Yo! Oh, man. Somebody's funny. having problems in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's not broken at all when you bring up the model. Okay. Dude, that's like a sad noodle yeah. right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> Yo, but I didn't even see where you picked that up. In this room? Just this room? Oh, yeah, shit, that is bent. <laughs> Remember before we started this playthrough, I said I need to know where I get this so I, we can get the real shotgun. I guess you can't shoot the broken shotgun. No. Sure you can. Well, mm -hmm. not in the game. You can save your progress with this. Will you use the ink ribbon? Digital styles. What? Hey, look at progress. Digital styles. Passing it off, man. Don't hug me, I'm scared. You don't remember that? No, I really <laughs> don't. I haven't watched it that many times. God, it's a train wreck. <laughs> God, I can't even leave. Ah, there we go. Okay, John, you're like, you know, spreading eagle pretty far in I there. Know. <laughs> It's okay, Brian. He's wearing pants. He, that's the only thing that I'm glad about. <laughs> I'm bending my back backwards. Clark. 
crack it. You were in like the prime rape rape position uh, if somebody were to come in this room. Well, it's a good thing the door's locked, right, Brian? Everybody right. across the way got a nice view just now. That's yeah, okay. Sometimes I just like you know it's four a.m. looking for beans, and I uh, you know the curtains open. I'm just you know I'm wearing a t-shirt, but nothing underneath, just swinging it, fucking breeze. Shut up. <laughs> just go out on the balcony. On the seventh floor? No, I don't go on the balcony, but I, I half the time I don't give a shit if like the curtains open. Go out on the balcony at four AM and just <laughs> dump a can of beans on <laughs> <laughs> Dump a can of beans, maybe swing around like a fucking like meat spin. Meanwhile someone's getting up for work at fucking like eating their meat <laughs> pissed off that they have to go into work. <laughs> And they're just about to get in their car. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck? It's just poured <laughs> all over. And then they look up, they just see my fucking wiener. Oh my and, and <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, fuck, I knew I needed this small key. Just spin spinning around like a helicopter. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna fly places. What the hell? Oh, God. Something looks wrong with that picture. It does. It looks like a world that you need the to lighter. To. Wood is put in the stove. A paper is on the wall. A, a, a like paper is on the wall. A singular paper. That door is blue. Woo hoo. It's Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> oh, God. I never, ever, ever saw that before. I've seen it only because I have eaten younger cousins and oh. I was like 10 okay this is where we came from brown door let's try going this way that, I already went that way no I did go I, I opened a couple rooms that I didn't wait go I remember did you open this yeah I didn't go in there yet though I feel like this is the armor room. The what? The armor room. The armor room? Yes. Oh. But I also feel like this maybe we should get the shotgun. I don't know. I should be able to push that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Where do I need to push it though? It's me. Fucking A. I hate Chris. What, what's at the end of the room? You should just die. Oh, is that a button on the floor? Yeah. I can't get behind that. I fucked myself. What? 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 Does it reset when you leave the room? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Can you move the other one? Let me try. Of course, stops farting around. Chris! Stupid clod. Oh my god. Chris. What are you doing? Why are you turning? <sighs> Fucking hat! No! Oh my god, Brian. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> I don't know if that's even what we're supposed to do. Let's take my way guess. No, I'm trying to reset the room. Does that happen though? Let's see. I doubt the game would just let you continue yet. Try pushing that. I don't even know if you're supposed to push those onto the thing. Chris! Stop. Oh, there we go. I'm in prime pushing position. <laughs> here we go. It's lined up. Come on, come on. One more, man. You got this, bro. One more. <laughs> Nothing what, happened. What the fuck? Nothing happened. What the... Something can be said in the showcase. What is that something? Is it important? Can I, can we please I suppose it is do not it? important. Well, I guess whatever that was on the floor, it doesn't matter if you push the statue on it. Wait. <sighs> fucking hell, I hate these controls. <sighs> fucking hell. Maybe it was just to push that one on it. Chris! Chris! 
Chris. See what happens if you push that one over the thing? Yeah, nothing. Well, I'm not wind up on it, so. Fuck! Do what I say. It didn't nothing. do shit. Didn't do shit. Damn it. Something was really shocking. <laughs> Damn, dude, you pissed off already? Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> I guess I probably would be too. If I was just like this. Like, there's a button, but I pushed it on there and it didn't do shit. Can you go in the room, please? Can you go in the room, please? Can you go in the room, please? Is that a room we can go in? Does it even look like a room? I don't know, man. I thought it looked like a door, but apparently not. What's this? What's this That's bullshit? a door. What's this bullshit? Look at this door that I just found. Ooh, a plant. Where? In that little... See there? Yeah. To the right? Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. I will partake of the green. Well, you're not you're not partaking. You're just taking, right? Yes. For now. I can't carry anything. We should be able to combine oh, shit, you dumb oaf. This game is stressing me out. <laughs> oh Whoa. my god! What the fuck? I oh, can't. Yeah. Noise, dude. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Chris, what are you doing here? What Why are you shooting hell? the lion? Yo, don't shoot the lion. He's good. he's a good guy. Dude, he's fucking Jesus. He's the equivalent of Jesus in that book. What the fuck is this? Look at this case that I just found. Fucking Robbie Rod. It's Rodden. too dark to see anything. Oh, what the fuck? What are the you hell? serious? Dude, this game, like, the lighting on this game is great. For the player, apparently not for the guy in the game. What, what, what? You got 69 bullets. Nice. <laughs> 69. Nice. Alright, um, I need a lighter. Chris needs to smoke a good doobie. Oh, what the fuck? You... Fucking cock sucking asshole. Just in time. Damn Can I please go past you? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I guess. What you the can. fuck? Ooh, he's now it's down. dead. Yeah, no crimson head for you. Where am I supposed to go? Only eggs can sustain me. What? <laughs> I've been watching too much of uh, the um, animations where uh, uh, they animate how many plays. Oh. Wait, I just went in a big fat circle. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. practicing your zombie voice? I am. Your zombie mating Oh, call? that's what I need the shield for, but I'm not chill, so fuck. Practicing your zombie mating call? I mean, it's been working so far, right? Yeah, actually pretty good. There's I mean, lots of them things. Yeah, lots of here. them have been coming to me. I mean, fuck. I feel like there's nothing in this room. Except for 
for something where I need the lighter. Looking back, this game is entirely playable. Like, eight-year-old me would not get freaked out from this, I don't think. Maybe the cutscenes, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't I remember being eight, so I couldn't say. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, that's right. You weren't traumatized as an eight-year-old where your parents I mean, maybe I was, and that's what the problem is. <laughs> no, no, that's, no, a, no, that's what I mean. You kind of don't forget that shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame it. Yeah, my parents got divorced when I was eight, so I remember everything when I was eight. <laughs> Damn. Ah, fucking armor. Actually, I can remember back to when I was like six somehow. My mom left me in a car to go grab something and she took too fucking long. <laughs> and I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> That's Damn. What, yeah, that's what I remember. <laughs> she, I don't remember. She was going to the bank, and we were going through the drive-thru, and she was having some sort of problem. And so she parked in the parking lot, and she took too long because she was in line at the bank. And then some guy, some stranger came up, and he's knocking on the window, and he's like, are you alone in this car? And I start freaking out. Yo... <laughs> Like, screaming. Yo. I was screaming and freaking out. Yo. And then she eventually came back, and I told my mom all about it, and she didn't believe me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, being six wasn't fun. But I remember again, stuff from when I was a kid, but I don't remember how old I was when it happened. Like what? Like, like just just Anything random you're things. To share? Like nothing, like, nothing is... Out of the ordinary, just random ordinary things, but like I don't remember like how what? it was. What so as an example. Oh, I like ride my bike and shit. Like, did you used to ride your bike throughout town? Mm, not really outside of my own neighborhood. Did you always live in Jersey? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember <laughs> I never went anywhere. Uh, I was ten and my uh, my friend Kevin, he had a uh, go-kart. He had a couple of go-karts actually. That yeah, that's him, cool. Before his old man left, uh, he would have us drive them. And uh, he felt like driving the go-kart down the street. And I'm like, okay. So then he decides to like hook a trailer to it. To the or, go-kart. Not a trailer, a wagon. We'd oh say it's God. a trailer. It had like a bunch of cinder blocks on it. Yeah. That we had to bring for somebody to like help them out. I forget what it was. I was yeah. like 10. So I, I rode in the back and he hit he hit a bump. So you're in the wagon with the I'm cinder I'm in the blocks. wagon with the cinder blocks. Oh the cinder God. block fell on my fucking back. Dude. And I still remember how painful that was. Oh and how, I, didn't, I didn't talk to him for like a week. You I, I was, son of a bitch. <laughs> if I could, I would have said that shit. Yeah. But like, I mean, can you blame me? No. <laughs> I mean, a cinder block landed on my fucking back. Holy shit, dude. Dude, damn. Yeah, there's like other dumb shit I remember. Um, let's see if I can remember any dumb shit from like most of the dumb shit I did as a kid. I was doing with Kevin. <laughs> I remember when my brother broke his arm. Doing what? Because we were like riding bicycles on the sidewalk in front of our house. Uh huh. Because like, I don't know. I guess I don't know if we weren't allowed to go any farther. Or we just didn't think we were allowed to go any farther. But, like, now that I think about it, we really should have at least been able to ride around the block at that point. But aside from that, we were riding bicycles on the sidewalk in front of our house. Uh -huh. And we started being smart asses with each other where you ride real close to the one in front of you and bump your front tire on their back tire. Oh, you guys are ballsy. I wouldn't have done that. I mean, we were going like maybe five miles an hour. Doesn't matter though. Bike, but, bike accident, it's a bike accident. But like, he crashed on his bike, but not because I hit his tire. <laughs> it's, it's because he was turning around. Oh, you fucking sociopath. He was you looking behind it. himself to tell me to stop doing that while he was riding. And he went Stop off the doing side. it! Ah! Off to the side and crashed into a mailbox. 
God, what a fuck. But, um, but his arm, the arm that he broke is the arm that he fell on when he fell over. Not the arm that he crashed into the mailbox with. I'm just fucking ruined. <laughs> God damn it. Um, God, what did I do? Um, trying to think of other dumb shit I did. Um, <laughs> uh, so Kevin, he, I was hanging out at my place. It was raining like a motherfucker, and uh, I was just playing Nintendo 64. And he, he lived like a good like car ride wise. It was like 20 minutes. That's not too bad. He bike rode the whole way and that was like you know 30 minutes later he showed up to my fucking house Damn. and I'm like dude what are you doing here he's like oh uh-huh. like you know I go to everybody else's house that's in my neighborhood and plus I wasn't doing anything so right. I, like my mom was actually like not pissed off but she was actually worried about him it's like you just did a 30 minute bike ride all the way to my house wait 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 you said it was a 20 minute car ride but yeah. he did it in a bike ride in 30 minutes yeah how fucking fast can this kid ride his bike it, it was <laughs> ra- it was raining too like that does that time is not lining up man it's probably more than a that a 20 minute car ride it, should not translate to a 30 minute bike ride it, it was probably more actually it was more like probably like a 15 probably minute like car a, ride a 10 minute car ride maybe I don't know I remember being a lot further than that no, I'm not I'll stop bossing you on time but he rode his bike to your house. Yeah, in the rain. And, like, all the roads he was riding on probably didn't have sides, right? Just yeah, like, no, they didn't. Like a shoulder? No, it was, he was 10 years old when he did this, oh and, like, God. you're a fucking idiot. That's wild. I was barely allowed to And then his up. mom had to come pick him up because my uh, my mom was like, no, you're not bike riding home. I you're think fucking I was, crazy. I was, like, barely allowed to cross the street when I was 10. Like, what the hell? The, same here. <laughs> Granted, I didn't have too many people, too many kids in my neighborhood. Like, there was literally two kids in my neighborhood that I hung out with, not on a regular basis, but, like, Danny. He was, like, I want to say four houses down from me. I lived, like, a backwoodsy area. It almost looked like the Poconos. Damn. Um, in Massachusetts. And, um, what is it? Uh, he was across the street from me, and I'd go over to his house, play PlayStation, play uh, Twisted Metal. Yeah. And uh, cause that game was violent My <clears throat> parents didn't know I was playing that And he tried to introduce me To like new music Kind of oh, like God. how Kind of like how John does But back then he was like Yo listen to these guys The monkeys And I'm like Why the fuck am I gonna listen to the monkeys The monkeys <laughs> Yeah They're like I don't know music They're old They're like you know The Beatles kind of Oh Like that era Like he listened to old fucking music he, he had me listen to the monkeys and then he had me listen to like you know old school Metallica and I'm like you know I can dig Metallica but what the fuck yeah. you make me listen to the monkeys <laughs> right to make you like the Metallica uh, maybe <laughs> he I played the monkeys because he wanted to get you to like but anyways the the, this guy was like I want to say three four years older than me oh that's not too bad oh finally a door I can go into um okay. but uh yeah, and then the other person was... Oh, fuck, I'm screwed. There's <laughs> only two. You're all right. Look, that one in the corner, he ain't even moved yet. Oh, fuck. No, oh, Chris! Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. All the way in. Yeah! Run, you fool. Boo. Boo. He's going to get up again, isn't he? What's this? Kind of click it. More clip. Yes. Um, oh, the other the other person I hung out with uh, didn't really hang out with. She was more like like the hot neighbor that was next door, and I had no inkling that she existed until junior high. <laughs> All right. And it's because I took the bus for the first time oh. in junior high, and um, she was like Dude, two yeah. years older than me. Her name is Molly Hall, and she was. The Wait, fuck. you never took the bus until middle school? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my parents drove me to school, like, every fucking day, and I went to an after-school program called SAC, and, um... Damn, dude. I forget what it stands for, but... I started taking the bus in in third grade. Dude, no, 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 here's what you... Listen to this. I... Oh, nice. Um, when I first took the bus, it was technically second grade when we just moved to Turner Street in Norfolk. Right. But, um, I apparently didn't... Because I'm terrible with directions, I'm like, I'm like eight years old. How the yeah. fuck am I gonna know? But they expected me to know. To know what? Where you? How to get home? 
Oh, from and, the bus stop. Yeah, from the front or from school. Wait, really? Yeah. So I like you know, and apparently the bus didn't hit that route, so it was just like you know, I got stuck on the bus and oh I was crying God. and I was telling the bus driver like, this is where I live. I don't know where the fuck it is. And um, yeah. <laughs> he fight like my my mom was freaking out because the school didn't know where I was. Yeah. And oh um, the bus driver never got back to them, so then they finally call. That sounds Eric. like somebody screwed up. Yeah, somebody, somebody screwed up majorly. Major. Um, fuck. Uh, what is it? The oh god, I feel like this is a bad bad room. But um, like probably the snake boss. Oh fuck. Um, shit. But long story short, I got home like two hours after the time I was supposed to get home. And apparently I wasn't even supposed to take the bus because my dad got there and is like, where is he? Oh, my God. So, so anyways, I took the bus. I got home. It was like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Damn. My mom oh. runs up to me crying and like, I can't believe like you're actually here. Like, you know. I'm never letting you take the bus again. That's pretty much what happened. Oh, I, didn't, damn. I didn't take the bus until I was goddamn in middle school. And that's why Brian didn't take the bus until 7th <laughs> grade or 6th yeah, grade. Yeah, 7th grade. Know it was. Seventh grade, it was fucked. Now, oh, finally, use a small key. Ooh, ammunition. Uh, what do you take? The shells? Yeah, but I need the actual shotgun. I'm sure you'll find it eventually. But, um, what is it? So, in seventh grade, like, you know, hot next door neighbor had no inkling about, like, the entire. Did she know you existed? Yeah. How? I don't if you know. you didn't know who she was, how did she know who you was? I, I don't know. She was in eighth... I think she was a year ahead of me. Oh, uh, okay. She was in eighth grade. And, um... Like, I was so in love with her, it's not even funny. Like, but I was such a shy pussy back then that I couldn't even do shit. And... But she lived, like, literally two houses down from me. I had no idea. Damn. No fucking idea. Damn. But years later, when I actually get went into high school like she was still kind of hanging around me we used to walk home every day and I'm like Hot. And, but then Danny <laughs> decided to be a fucking dick and he did this right under my nose and he did this because he was older than me and he I mean she's an attractive woman but she uh, at the time and she, uh, like, he picked her up in his car, and I was left to walk the rest of the way. <laughs> I'm wah, like, wah, what a wah. dick move. Why would she get in the car with him? Because he was not bad looking himself. Oh, okay. Why wouldn't she say, like, oh, take Brian with you? <sighs> I don't know. At that age, you don't give <laughs> two fucks. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have, I have, yeah. I don't know. If I could look, like, go back, I would ask her, like, why the fuck you get in that car with that ass? <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> I'm scored from that one time in middle school. No, you we don't understand. You don't understand. She was, you she was my crush back then. And she was, he took you away from me. You know what's even weirder? You know what's even weirder? I got home one time. And, like, I got home early or something, and then I hear a knock on my door. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I go over, and she's knocking on my door. She's like, yeah, my parents and are home or anything. And I'm like, So what oh. the fuck do you want me to do about it? Yeah, I'm like an <laughs> idiot. That's what I pretty much said. Oh I'm like, oh, you can, you can stay here until, like, you know, my parents get home in, like, the next hour. She's like, okay. And I'm God just like, damn! I was dude. such a fucking idiot. I was in ninth grade at that point. I was 15. Ugh. Um, but I still could have done something. God, I was such an idiot. Dude, I can tell you, if I was in that same situation when I was in ninth grade, I would have found a way to fuck it up even more. Than you <laughs> like saying, no, just go home. Get the fuck say, out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> except, except I didn't swear until like college, ever. Dude, it's were you like it's raised in? I, I were you raised in a cave or something? Did your parents pretty beat much. You? Hold up, we got someone in the chat. Oh said, god! Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and views on bigfollows.com. Fuck you! What big the fuck? Follow get follow the fuck, fuck out of my chat! Get out I of my didn't chat. give you permission to put commercials on our Twitch stream. You shit what? You fucking dick shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. God. Can't believe you didn't start swearing to like fucking. And it college. wasn't even the first year of college either. It was you like, know what? 
You, you know what's funny though? Like, the third uh, year. what is it? I I didn't start swearing till I was like fifteen, which is still pretty late. Cause when I was twelve. I, like it was ingrained in me that I was gonna get in big fucking trouble if I swore. Yeah. Like even around my friends, like dude, just say fuck. <laughs> no. And, and they would do that, and then I would say, "Oh, what the hell? Handgun or revolver?" No, that thing looks like it packs a punch. That's a hand can. Oh, dude, why can't I get rid of some of my shit? It just Cause... throw those ink ribbons. Sixty nine. Nice. <sighs> Throw those ink ribbons out. You don't need them. Wait, what What happened? How did you open a spot? I used a health item. Did, oh, you used the herb? Yeah. Did you even need it? I don't know. <laughs> We're in yellow, but... Wait, it's a clip. Fine. No, no, no. I want, no, what the fuck? Give no, me that hand The can. gun. I want the gun. The Colt Python. Ooh. Six shots. Gonna need that for, for yawn. Or hunters. I don't know. If I don't miss. Alright, I'm gonna hand it back off to John because at this point Man. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but you made it this far all by yourself. I know, it was pretty good for me. Where are we? <laughs> Over here again? Where all did you go? But yeah, I was such a fucking idiot. He asked time. you where you went. I don't know. He went, um into that armor room and we spent like 20 minutes in there pushing the statues around finding out that they don't do anything and um I'm calling it the armor room it's where those suits of armor are yeah yeah uh, that did didn't you push use the small button. key uh yeah I did okay yeah there's a few desks around um, oh yeah the small key opened up that desk you got the shells out of Brett, have you ever been in like compromise? Not compromise. You just used an herb right to get it out of your inventory, you and you were literally thirty <laughs> seconds from the box. <laughs> I didn't know. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know. You didn't even check. I'm sorry. Oh, it shows up on the map. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was a dip. A dippy do. Yeah. Now John can get the shotgun. That's right, Maybe. I'm a dippy do too. Bre oh, now I remember what, what were you gonna I was going to say. Was I ever you, in what? Uh, were you ever in situations like that, like with women, but then you just fuck it up, make it worse? One Back time. Then. And it was like senior year of senior high school. Senior Oh, fuck, that's the one time he could have fucked. And it was in the school. <laughs> so, like, it wasn't even anything I could have done anything oh, about. What did you do? What oh, happened? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Alright, you, you. So. This <laughs> sounds like a story. It is a story. We've been telling stories the whole time, been on the shit. It's a story know, about it. how damn retarded I am. <laughs> oh, that's a hard R word, man. You better follow this up with something that, that, that warrants it. Did oh, you say the god. N word? No. No, you said not the R say the N word. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nicer? <laughs> but go on. <laughs> so. I'm like leaving gym class okay and this girl stops me outside of gym class is she attractive kind of but uh, time i should ask i don't know okay not not kind of but mm, were you interested if if she put more effort into maintaining appearances so she, she was like been, slightly but frump but okay keep going know. keep going it's just because her body hair was black so like you saw it automatically my mind jumped to armpit hair no as just like the as, hair as that's soon as on you your said, arm like body just, hair just the hair that's like on your arm like most people it's like so she's not Italian. dark no I don't know she was like I don't know not Italian. I don't think she was Italian you weren't there when I dated Carolyn of, she, kind of, she was like Irish or something she had like thick did you guys hair. do this room uh, I, really I don't think I cleared it. I don't it. remember this room. Various things. But anyways, what, what happened? Um, oh yeah, yeah. So like, the way my school did health class was like, part of it, it would be during your gym class, so like, if you had health Same class here. for that semester, or Same that here. quarter, whatever, you would go there instead of gym. Yeah. So I was in gym class, and she was in health class, right? And she's like, hey, hey, you know what we learned in health class today? I'm like, oh god, what? She's like, we learned how to suck dick. That's like, not true. I'm like, cool. And she's like, 
You want me to show you how? I'm like, why? I'm not gay. Oh, you fucking! Oh, <laughs> why would I want to know oh, that? You, you burned her so fucking I mean, bad. You called her a dude, basically. What? Yeah, by saying like, like. I see what I'm saying. You didn't want to learn. Why would I want to see how to suck dick if I'm not gay? Because she's telling you, hey, want me to show you how? I, I know suck now. Dick? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You basically called her a dude. That's not what I said. That is exactly how she probably took it. No. Yeah, because it's like, the obvious answer is okay, because you're trying to see if you want to suck my dick, but you're no. telling her, nah, man, I don't want you to no. suck my dick. You're no, a dude. Bro, you're a no, dude. it's I don't want to learn how to suck <laughs> yeah. dick. That's it. I don't need to learn how to do that. Both of you are I'm fucking not- dumb. <laughs> But anyways, what did she say? Did you just run away? I don't really remember how it worked after that, but like... Turns out she actually did suck his dick and he just doesn't want to tell. I mean, if I could go back in time... Okay, next subject. (laughs) Believe me, there were a lot of moments like that for me growing up. (laughs) Oh, man. But then you realize, like, even if I did say the other thing, it still wouldn't have worked out because it was probably just a joke anyway. (laughs) Yeah, you know, the fact that she came up to you and said something, though, that, that means something. With two other people. Is it possible that that girl ever hit on you before? If she did, I didn't realize it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, were you a fucking robot back then? I'm a robot now. Listen, you're less of a robot lit, now. Lit. Beep boop. I'm a dupe. You got bamboozled. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, what is it? I had girls in gym class, the same deal, had health class. Yeah. And we were running track, and there were, like, three of the most popular girls comes up to me, and they ask me what size my dick is, and I'm just, I straight up tell them, because I don't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> and then, big. And so they, they won't leave me alone. <laughs> but my dumb ass doesn't, like, pick up on that and try so to, So wait, like, were they something. interested, or were they just making fun of you? Well, they kept trying to, like ask me about stuff, so it's like, <laughs> why? Yo. <laughs> Yo. I should I didn't do shit, though, because I was a dumbass. And, Did uh, we go through here? Yeah, I remember yeah. he tried to pick up that herb, but he couldn't because his inventory was full. Neither can I. I mean, I Did just told I just told the women. Oh. oh, fuck. He never did that. No, I didn't. Did you pick up anything from that? No. It's... Wait, he wasn't there before. Yeah, what the fuck? Shit. But, uh, I just told them the hand rule. Oh. Yeah, bottom of the palm to the tip of your middle finger. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what I was told. And I compared, and it is the same. <laughs> and so anytime anyone asks me anything like that, I, I, I just say average. And then if they ask what average is, I lie and say four. Well, or here's, four and a half. No, because and then, I... And Brad, then they're like, that's not average. Brad, like, what is average? And then they say, tell me what average is. And I'm like, well, shit, no wonder I'm Brad, saying, average oh. is five. <laughs> That's why I said I lied. I didn't know that. I thought average was six, because you ever hear the saying, I got a straight six? I don't talk about dicks regularly, Brian. <laughs> so no, actually, I can't say that I have heard that phrase. <laughs> well, you watch movies, right? Comedy Apparently movies? Apparently not the kind of movies you watch. You don't watch movies with, like, Will Ferrell or Adam... Oh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this. Like, Adam Sandler. No. The fact that Gex was ripping on Adam Sandler, even in the 90s. Like, I thought he was the funniest shit ever. Remember the part where I told you I didn't swear until freaking third year of college? I can't believe that. John, you can watch <laughs> that. It was a little it. bit sooner than that. Oh, but, was it? Yeah. Well, were you living on campus, or were you, no, like... I never lived home? on campus. Oh, okay. So, like, I missed out on, like... Brett, life. I feel like your life would be unhinged if you li- if you lived on campus in Philly and went to um cause that's would, where it was right at the well that's where the, the main campus was yeah we went through here right yeah I yeah, feel like, into there, like what times. happened to my ex girlfriend is what would have happened to you scarred for life yes but also when oh like like 
turned into the the oh what 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 the fuck? <laughs> oh, what? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking oh kidding me? I thought you had to push the thing on there. I'm like, what if we push the statue on the button? No. Oh, now just, it makes all the sense. You, you push just, it over the grates. You could just God, push the button. Damn it. Oh. Except tank controls kind of make it fucky. But... <gasps> oh, Shit. wow. I didn't know I was dying that quickly. Yeah. Well, now you know you can push the statues over top of the grate before you hit the button. Wow. You <laughs> No, but uh, Brett, what happened to her was she was nineteen and she was like her family's like super Irish Catholic. I, for the oh, so so she had really strict when was the last upbringing. Time saved? upbringing. It's been a while, but like an hour ago. Oh, great. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, really strict upbringing, and then gets to college and suddenly there's no rules and it just goes off the deep end. Oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. It's like she I would party. From- she would party every day. Like her new friends and do D and D and all that shit. Well, I can but, tell you for a fact that's not what I would do. I would have been yeah, really, really leave dumb. Yeah, unhinged. Just, I would have been like extra, extra dumb and just everyone who invited me to do anything, I would have told them basically the equivalent of fuck off. What? No, you wouldn't have even tried. Even if you're not drinking or anything, just like hanging out. I wouldn't. Wow. <laughs> Brave, you've come a long way. <laughs> And I'm still not very far. No, but, we but can it, stop talking I, about me now. I could at least get you to like smell alcohol. Well, yeah, I smelled it before. I'm like, well, that smells like shit. <laughs> Why would I drink that? Um, because it makes you. Uh, it's all. It's the solution and the problem to all the world's problems. It's. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You know that somehow makes sense. <laughs> Fairly. But yeah, that's exactly what happened to her. She'd get drunk, like, every fucking day. She'd, like, hang out and party all the time. And then what, she died? No. No. And then she went out with me. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. And she went out with me, and then she kind of, like, tapered down a little bit. And then, um, she went straight back to that as soon as she dumped me. (laughs) Wah, wah, wah. Oh, shit. Two-hitter. Hell yeah. Double tap. Pop, pop, fool. I actually found her on uh, Tinder the other day. I think you told me, and you yeah. swiped right just to fuck with her. Yeah, no, not to fuck with her, to, like, basically start sh- yeah. Maybe not start shit's not the right word, but, like, you know, I don't know. On just the off chance ass. she hits me back up, be like, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Remember me? No, nothing like that. I have no intention of fucking around with her ever again. <laughs> but, um, just to see what's up, basically. <laughs> and to get the inside scoop as to, like, what the hell happened with the guy she was gonna marry. What the hell's up with this bookcase? I don't know, it's, it's a very big bookcase, you know. It's like he tries to push it and he stops. Hmm. And then I have my recent ex. Is it obstructing? Like, like all my Instagram shit. Wait, she does? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Should I hit her back up? Uh, don't ask me, man. I have, like... <laughs> I mean, I don't like her. You guys kind of like her. So it looks like you can't see whatever that is when the camera's the other way and it's actually blocking the bookcase. Is that like a fish tank or something? Oh, uh, it's the bug room. Nothing special. Oh, so it's probably a terrarium. You need a butterfly or whatever the fuck goes there. Whoa. Never mind, okay. Okay. Dude, Chris's face looks like he. It's like concave. Right. <laughs> Damn. He looks like one of the characters from the Rugrats. <laughs> yeah, which one? <laughs> looks like Stu Pickles. Or no, he looks like Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Or um, Dr. Lipshits. I can't believe that was that actual character name they came up with. Oh, so you drain the aquarium, and then you can move it. And yeah, now you can move the bookshelf. I guess that's how that works. Ooh. So you couldn't even... Oh, whoa! What's in there? Will you take the moon Moon crest? crest! Hey, wait. So, the moon crest that you get in RE4, that's a throwback? Apparently so. Okay. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter... I don't feel like reading the whole thing. Too long, didn't read. 
TLDR, something important, or maybe not. People did. Wait, wait, time. go back. What was that person's name? Martin Crankhorn? TLDR, people dead, then they're not. Oh. Nothing special. Nothing I'm pretty special. sure that person's name is Martin Crankhorn. I'm sure your <laughs> name is Martin Crankhorn. Dude, Martin I wish. How many times did you crank your horn today? Um, that's a uh, need to know basis. <laughs> Ballpark six to eight? No, Dude. God, not that many times. <laughs> Maybe once. You're a fucking animal. You're a fucking animal. <laughs> Damn it. You can't carry anymore. Well, now I know where the lighter is. No. John, can what? you uh, eventually, can we post this on YouTube? Eventually. Because I kind of want to watch this later. He wants to go back and watch the part where I'm telling an embarrassing story about myself. <laughs> no, I just want to. I just want to go back and watch it. <laughs> It'll be on Twitch too for at least two weeks. Oh, okay. But I do have it recording, so. Very cool. I feel like we're encroaching on the snake boss. Pretty uh, soon. we're getting, yeah, it's pretty close. I yeah, because I think you fight him right after you get the shotgun. I need to go dump some items. Snake! Snake! Wait, this is do, that do, game. Do, 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 do. This isn't that game. No, it's not. Boop, boop, boop. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Chris. <laughs> Imagine if it was just a Metal Gear with Chris's concave face on the front. Is it possible to find love in war? Beats me. No. You silly bitch. I don't even know why they put the knife in this game. It never gets you out of a situation, ever. Damn. The only purpose for it is breaking boxes, and that's not even a thing until Resident Evil 2. I was gonna say, at least it has a purpose, but then apparently it just doesn't. Yeah, breaking boxes without wasting ammo. Actually, were there crates you could break in the original Resident Evil 2? I don't know. Do you remember, John? Uh, no. Okay, so then that wasn't even a thing till Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Damn. I wanna see Jill again. She had this rockin' fucking outfit. <laughs> Do you ever see her again when you play as Chris? Uh, not until, like, not till the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they take different paths. Yeah, that makes sense. One of these kids is not like the other. One of these kids is dead. Oh. I thought you were going to say it doesn't belong. <laughs> Damn, John. No, Timothy! I made a mistake once. When was that? How old are you? <laughs> Dude, Mr. Turner is like the fucking savage. Goat. He's the goat of the whole series. Goat? Yeah. I like how when you combine the herbs, it turns to a piece of paper with two different colored piles of powder on it. Yeah, because I, I mean, you're going to start fire. that shit. They should mod this game so that you play as Dinkelberg and all the zombies are Mr. Turner. What? what? <laughs> no, no, other way around. You play as Mr. Turner and all the zombies are Dinkelberg. Uh, I could play that too, I guess. Dinkelberg. Yeah, they're all this. It's all relative. Dinkelberg, Mr. Dink. Wow, I didn't realize Who's that before. Desk you opened? Because it had shotgun shells in it, right? Yeah, he yeah took the I, already, I already took that. Yeah, but I died. Oh, that's right. Yeah, shit. I'll be damned if I can remember how to do that. Dude, do you know what the definition of a... Uh, that Chris only has six inventory slots. Oh. Do you know the definition of a dink? Uh, Dual income, no children? Yeah. Well, no kids, but yeah. Yeah, that's why Dinkelberg is the way he is and why Mr. Dink is always uh. like... <laughs> Douglas. That's my goal in life is to be a dink. 
Dude, you already are one. <laughs> I'm sink. Yeah, he's a sink. <laughs> what the fuck is a sink? Single income. Oh. No kids. Well, I mean, you still have your wife from across the seas that you give uh, <laughs> the money to the illegitimate baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want people knowing that on the stream. That's a secret. It's also not true at all. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Me and John know the truth. So yeah. Would that be a S S I N L K? What? S single income, no legitimate children? Yeah, there oh you go. Oh my god. There you go. A silk. I was. I shouldn't have said that while Brian was. I was oh my god! No, that's no, the right. perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. It's not my house. Total spit take. Here. I don't give a Should shit. Should have done a spit take. Okay, third time going in this room. Let's go. Third time's a chug. Is there dead bodies in the beds? Yes. Will you take the shells? I feel like that's a question you could ask me if I was playing Animal Crossing too. Will you take the shells? <laughs> what, the, uh, like, shotgun shells wash up on the beach or something? Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> I mean, they kind of look like seashells, but I mean, I guess if you, you can load the anything... Sea shotgun go. shells. Now they came out with this update, like, a couple months ago, where you could swim. So... I mean, the whole point of Animal Crossing is to basically, hey, do you want to do, like, labor for, like, and it's not even really fun? The only thing that makes it fun is that you're cute little animals and shit. <laughs> that, like, oh, you want to buy a house, but then, like, you know, buy it back with, like, doing work and shit for the guy who sold you the house? <laughs> Fucking A. Yeah. Tom Nook can take a big fat AIDS dick up his asshole. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> God, wow. Damn. damn, right? Wow. Somebody's, somebody's mad. Seriously, like, I, I hate that guy. Really? Because he built me a gold statue on my GameCube. Yeah, well, he was nicer back then. <laughs> it's Mr. Rossetti that didn't like me. Yeah, because you reset the game, you dick. Tom Nook's just like, you know, he's just the, the smarmiest piece of shit I've ever seen on this planet. And he's like, oh yeah, he's he can buy a house. He is a slumlord. Seriously, oh fuck. Oh wait, I did this, but then I died. I forgot. And then I headshot that second one. Oh, fuck! How'd he get so fast? Damn. What the fuck was that? It's I funny. don't know. It's How did they go that fast? It's funny because, like, it was fast, but, like, he still didn't move his feet very far, so it just... No, he just glided no, across the... he was moving really fast, actually. Yeah, he, he but just... His, his feet didn't, like, dude, he didn't take big steps. He dude, just he took glided across the steps. screen with such grace. That's still yeah. not a crimson head, though. No, it, like there's it's no crimson head like in the one, game. But... but that is how they move. Damn. Except they swipe at you, and it takes like out more than half your health. And they re and they reappear at random times. Did you shoot his arm off? Yes, yeah. I think so. Oh damn. He's gonna get up though. Will he though? Shut up. Why did your? I don't know. I Shut don't... up. It's my work iPad. Don't. It's my work iPad. Is there something else I can help with? No. Being prune, brother. No. <laughs> They're gonna see that. Yeah, no. Man, Siri. Oh God! What the? Oh, shit. What the? <laughs> what? What the fuck did you do? What did it do? If, if nothing, thank God. But if work. Like figured that out and like they they can track what you see on that. <laughs> Yo, I would have been in so much fucking trouble. How did it get activated? I don't know. Seriously? Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That that had the potential to be really funny. Coon Brothers. Don't. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, I get worried when Siri says I'm on it <laughs> after either one of you requests the thing. <laughs> There's herbs. I know. I've only got space for one. Yeah, but aren't you, like, damaged? No. <laughs> damaged? Damaged? Oh, hey, that's Jill's outfit. Are you damaged? Ryan, do we have to bring that up on stream? What? <laughs> that's Jill's outfit, and then that's Claire's jacket. I didn't know you. there's a changing room. Just a moment. So now you're gonna look like Claire? <laughs> yeah, no! <laughs> He's gonna wear the leather jacket. He's yeah, that's the like jacket him. he gave to Claire. It's canonical. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's it is. black. What? No, it was red. Brown, maybe? Brown, red, what the fuck? Khakis, though? What the fuck? Let's Will you date the green hub? Will you smoke the reef? <laughs> no, I don't do that. Imagine if you did that, but you'd be a lot more fun. Probably. <laughs> Unlike Joey, where he just let you say a word and he just laughs. Oh. I would probably be the one to just like fall asleep instantly. I actually, I'm depending on the strain. I do fall asleep and get sleepy. If it's the other one, though, I'm like a hyperactive demon. <laughs> that like. The fairly plots to like scare you if you leave the room. Oh my! Like when we were hanging out at Tim's that one time, I was you know smoking the vape or whatever. Then I got it into my brain that I'm gonna scare you guys when you come back up from the garage. And I hit up in his little like loft area, and I was just clicking the light over and over. And he comes up, and I, I think John was the first to check on me. He's like, yeah, right. <laughs> Are you okay? Or no, he didn't say anything. And then I went back down when, I guess, Tim went to the bathroom or something. Then I, I tried scaring him. <laughs> yeah, I be, kind of become a little fucking degenerate when I... Smoke sometimes. Ooh. You have used the armor key. Is the sword key the armor key and the helmet key, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. You take the clip, no clip. <laughs> Do you want to no clip through the whole level? God, you gotta be close to Snake now. Dude, Chris is running really fast. What the fuck? It's them khakis. I guess so. He's more aerodynamic. I don't think that's how it works, but alright. Yes, it is. Okay. Chris, because it's just all fucking inventory management bullshit. Shit. Really? Yeah. I guess, like, yeah, because your inventory is so damn small. Jill has eight slots. What the fuck, Jill? And a lockpick. Is it because she's wearing, like, a souped-up outfit with pockets? No, it's because she's technically easy mood. I know she is, and it took me a while to figure that out, but... Even though she actually gets puzzles where Chris just usually has to shoot things. <laughs> and some of those puzzles can be kind of confusing. Barry, I found this box! We can make boxes out of the boxes! <laughs> Uh, 
still live. Oh, we are? Yeah. What did you think that stopped? No, but I didn't think it hurt anything. If I provided context. I mean, yeah, if you provide context, but you just like pull the video like you. I kind of did, but. Fuck. <laughs> Does that mean we should stop streaming? No. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. With sharing videos. I mean, again, like, you know, with some context, it's, you know, it can be totally fine, but... I mean, I mentioned the thing about the boxes, but I, I probably could have been more clear. Yeah, I didn't have any... Thing, I didn't know that had anything to do with Game Grumps. Yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. I don't know. I don't know. I could have been more clear. It is like midnight. Yeah. I'm also really tired. <laughs> so, where's a good spot do you want to stop at, Snake? Uh... Like right before. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Dump some stuff and then I'm gonna get that one thing from the gas room and then I'll save. Don't you get the shotgun in the gas room? No. I can't get to the shotgun yet. What? I need, I, shotgun. I need another key. Oh, okay. Man, Jill's mode is easier then. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know I where you think Jill can open anything. She I forget if she has two or three keys, um, but she can also open any of the small key locks with the lock. Oh shit! Yeah, she's the master of lock picking. But um, I have no idea where you pick up because I'm sure that the items are moved into different rooms if you play as Jill. Some of them, like the broken shotgun. Because I've already been in the room where you can get the shotgun by taking it off the wall, but then you become a Jill sandwich. So you, a Jill sandwich. Yeah, so you need the broken shotgun. What is Brett, what's the scariest game you've ever played? Oh man. That's tough to say. Because I don't know that I've ever played an actual Or scene. Like, scary, scary. Or scene. Where it's just like, ugh. <laughs> game I don't dude, it's hard to say. I mean, I remember when you said scary game, right? The first game mm -hmm. that comes to mind was like Dead Space. Oh, that was scary. It was kinda scary, but I know there's other games that are scarier. Games that actually made you jump and be like, I don't want to play but this no that's more. <laughs> I've never played a game like that. Mine was the Resident Evil remake from back then when I was like 10. Oh. Or 14. I don't know, you were freaking out a little bit during Siren. Yeah, Siren was Dude, kind of, that's right. Yeah. That was, that was kind that of That was scary. more unsettling than... This is a big difference. We talked about this before. Like unsettling and, like, uncertainty. Games combined. that actually make you not jump scare, but, like, make you, like, not want to pick up that controller ever again. Dude, Siren was, like, the ultimate jump scare, though, because, like, it literally takes control of your camera. Yeah, I don't like that. Seeing. That freaked me and out. And like, just, I don't know why that, that, the, like when they that, see you, it flashes to the Yes. Yeah. That is, I don't know why that was scary as like, all get out. Like, I was getting so. That's like anxiety the game. I was getting, yeah. No, out, yeah. Outlast was like that for me. I, I don't know. I, I think Siren was worse. No. Yeah. I've never actually played Outlast, but I've seen it. Quite a bit. It's, it's quite a different experience actually playing it. 
Yeah, it's just one of those, like, it's, it's real scripted, like, run and hide stuff. But at the same time, it's like, you know... Not like run and hide stuff, it's just like the same kind of, like, run and go hide. You have yeah. to actually meticulously, like, come up with, like, patterns to, like, avoid the person who's chasing after you so and memorize So, what you're saying map. is, someone played that Flash game online, where the circles have a little cone coming out of the front, and you have to get through the area without going into the cone, which is their vision. I, I guess. And they basically I don't know. took that and made it first person. So Listen, now that scary. pig man can run. You'd think he could, because he's fat as fuck, but he runs after you, and he does. Like, the graphics are pretty good. Like, it's scary. And especially the second guy. Um, there's three guys that chase you in that game is the pig man. Second guy is a doctor who peeled off all of his skin, so you see nothing but muscle. Oh my god! And he and chases. Out, boy. He, chases he chases after you with like a pair of scissors, and um, the third guy who chases after you is a uh, part of the DLC. He wears a suit and tie, but he's like missing his face, or he's just really creepy, and he. Like, so it's like G-Man, basically. Yeah, basically. Um, but those are the three guys that chase you in the game. Oh, I lied. Four. There's the... When you finally figure out the plot to the game, um, it turns Slender out... Slenderman comes out. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's not exactly Slenderman. Am I actually... Like, am I close on that? You are pretty close on I that. was just reaching into my ass. Right? No, it's like a ghost... <laughs> it's like a black ghost version He's of over there reaching into his ass with his whole fist. He's fist. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, that's gross, but also... <laughs> um, but you're not that far off, though. He's like a black ghost thing that's, like, floating after you. Is that is that, is that racist? No. Can you say that? Yes. Can you, can you, can yes. Okay. It's a ghost. He, he used... Yeah, I used to use the Spanish word for black. Um, no. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, he chases after you. The black ghost is like a product of this guy that they've been torturing. Like, everything that's been creepy that's been going on in the mansion has been happening because this guy has, like, psychic powers and he's projecting all this stuff. And that's why, like, you know, at the end of the game, you gotta, like, kill him or you gotta get him out of there. And, um,. Then you have to escape the mansion after you recorded everything on the camera. That's the whole plot for the first game. The second game is like an unholy fucking antichrist bullshit. Where every... I haven't beaten that game yet. Everything looks scary in that game. There's a giant... There, there's like this giant Amazon woman that looks ugly as fuck. And has been like drained to look like a, a sponge woman. And she's carrying a giant like scythe or something. Damn. She, she's scary. That's the first, like, level in the game. It was scary. One of these days I'm gonna beat that game, though. Outlast 2? Yeah. Right. They're both on sale for the Switch if you want to pick it up, John. It's like five bucks. I literally just said a little while ago I didn't really like it. Well, you never played it. How, how can you say I that? I watched you play it. It's a different experience. I think you don't like it because it's, like, anxiety-inducing. <laughs> No. no. Siren's anxiety inducing. <laughs> and that's on PlayStation 2. Oof. Imagine if Siren was remastered with the like, current graphics. And that might make it a little bit less scary. Well, to be there, honest. Was, really? there was a sequel and a reboot, so I mean. Oh. Fine. I don't think I needed to use both of those. Well, now you got that inventory spot. You know what else is on sale? Final Fantasy X. Um, yeah, that's it. X2? No, that's it. What about X2? No, there's no X2. What is it on sale? Yeah, it's on sale. So, is X2 on sale? I'm not saying no. But, maybe. But you're not saying yes. <laughs> like, I need to know, man. I was thinking of buying it so we could stream that god awful monstrosity. And I, I still might. But I don't want people to know that I play it, so we're not. Yeah, I don't, no, I'll, I'll play it. I'll get over my fucking fixation over that. It, it's a game, it exists. I'll admit it. I, I just yeah, refuse to believe that for the longest fucking time, because it's like basically Sailor Moon, but like 
Final Fantasy characters. So? I don't like it. It's dumb. <laughs> it's kind of like how you feel about At Last. It's like that's how I feel about that. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> it's one of those like shit show games you play once. Okay. <laughs> we should do a stream of Stanley Parable. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that, by the way. Let's do it. I still can't believe that you played Elevator Action back in the day. Back in the day? Yeah, well, remember I brought over that, like, janky-ass uh, Nintendo to your place? And it had uh, Elevator uh, Action? I, You're I, like, oh, I used to play this game all the time. I did not used to play it all the time. I, um, Where the fuck did you play that? My dad got a, uh, a MAME emulator from, like, one of his friends at work, oh. and it worked on our computer. So, like, I played it on there a couple times. The original copy's gotta be worth something. I mean, it was an arcade game. Yeah. I mean, we don't, we don't really, like, touch that shit. Maybe we should consider selling that. What? So, I mean, the, the Nintendo that I brought over. Oh, the NES. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Famicom. I don't think we get much for it. No, no, those collectors. Are I mean, okay. I said we. It's yours. I don't think you'd get much for it. Probably not. Yeah. NES Control Deck. That's what it was called. No. I mean, if you really want to sell it, I won't stop. No, it. I mean, I, I'm just suggesting because we have yet to like find something that we play on that. that I mean, I'm just not a big fan of old games. Yeah. Just. Because I'm spoiled by new games. No, I, I, I love old games, but like, 8 bit games to, or how many bits is like just regular old last Nintendo? I don't even know. I don't know. Like NES? Yeah. Like 8. 8. Oh, okay. Um, it just like, like some, some of those games are fun to fuck around on my phone, but like actually playing it on my TV, it's like, come on. But Super Nintendo, I still play that shit. Like, I play my SNES Classic. Playing Donkey Kong. It depends on the game. Like Donkey Kong, Super Metro, and anything like that. I'll Not play. gonna lie, I kind of really like Zelda too. So. Really. Yeah. That game's hard as fuck. It is hard as fuck, but I like it. I'd rather play uh, Link Link's Awakening. I mean, not Link's Awakening. Um, Super Nintendo. I'd rather turn the stream off and go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Alright, All right. good night everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for posting commercials in our chat. Yeah, yeah right? Yes, sure, <laughs> why not?